Browsing on the iPhone's great, and you can do a lot of things with it, but there are times that you just need to go ahead and use a desktop. There are certain apps that just work so much better. You can do more on a desktop, and it just works better. Easy is the way to say it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to go ahead and connect to a computer with this app that is by Google. It's Remote Desktop completely free which is great there are other paid versions from other people but why bother when you can get a free one from google works very good got every option you need and I, I, you just don't understand how much i use this app it's great if you want to remote into anything say i'm coming home and i want to go ahead and get right on the computer and do stuff i can log in close everything and restart my computer i always keep it on or I can go ahead and connect to one of my cryptocurrency rigs and restart it. There's so many different things you could do. So we're gonna go through and show you how to use this app. Welcome everybody, I'm Kevin with HelpfulTutorials.net. If you haven't checked out the iPhone strategy guide, please make sure to check that out. It's completely free at HelpfulTutorials.net. Go ahead and take a look. And if you're new here and you like iPhone tips, tricks, tutorials, and carrier conversations, please do me a favor and smack that subscribe button and hit the bell notification. If you're already subscribed, thank you so much. Remote Desktop has saved me so many times. I am a big PC guy and say, for example, Fortnite is my other channel. Say there's a huge update on Fortnite and it's going to take 45 minutes to download. Well, while I'm at work, I could remote into my computer, open up Fortnite and start the update. That way, when I get home, I'm ready to game. That's just another example of things you could do. Sometimes there are certain websites that just aren't working correctly and you just need to access it from a web browser and it'll work better. For YouTube, I like the web browser better with stats instead of their mobile app. So I can connect and see certain things that I can't really see through their mobile app well. There's just so many reasons. All you want to do is go to the app store and type in remote desktop and you will find this one. You can go ahead and open it. And this will show you all of the computers that I currently have set up, when they are last connected, what's online, and everything like that. So you will have to set this up on your computer as well. And you would do that simply by going to a special link. And I'll even put the link down below in the description for you. But it is remotedesktop.google.com. Once you log in, it'll ask what you want to do. You just want to set it up to allow connections to that computer. Once you do that, it will have you set up a six digit pin code. So you will have to make a six digit pin code. You want to remember it because without that, you won't be able to connect. First time you connect in an app, it will ask for that pin code and it gives you the chance to remember it. So you won't have to do it again unless it's for a very long time that you connect then it might ask you again. Since I'm recording on here, I don't know how it would work if I go ahead and get connected. It would probably blow up my setup, but I will go ahead and give it a try. So uh, we would go ahead and choose Desktop Smack. It'll connect. And there we go. This is my other monitor showing. So you can see we're connected here. If I click here, it gives me options like Show Keyboard, touch mode, disconnect, settings, and dock left. So if we hit keyboard, that's what the keyboard looks like. And then we'll go ahead and just disconnect. That's my recording software. So once we disconnect, we're, going, we're right back here. There isn't a whole lot to this app. Once you do that, that's it. You go in and you get connected. Anytime I set up a new computer, first thing I do is install Google Chrome, and then I set this up. I don't use Google Chrome as a default browser. I actually use Brave browser. I really do recommend that. I'll go ahead and post the video up top on my other channel you could check out because Brave browser for desktop is awesome because you actually make money as you're browsing the internet, which is great. I have received lots of payments and even tips from people from time to time as well. So it's really nice. And that is Chrome Remote Desktop. Yes, you can go ahead and connect over cellular. It's not a problem. If you are going through and using Wi-Fi, sometimes you may have problems depending on whose Wi-Fi you're connecting to. 
You could always go ahead and use a VPN. A VPN will allow you to go ahead and get connected no matter what. If you're looking for a VPN, I have an amazing one down below that is really good at keeping everything private, especially your browser history, keeps no logs. It's shieldedvpn.com. You can go ahead and check that out and use code HELPFUL, all capital, for 10% off. And they are also an affiliate. So I hope you learned something today. If you use this already or if you give it a try, let me know what you think. Very quick, very easy, and simple to use once you set it up. Thanks so much for the view.